All right. What I'm getting ready to do is show you how to uh, order a uh, additional battery tray for the Yukons, the Tahoes, the GMCs, the pickups, um, and actually the regular battery is over there, the factory battery. Um, you have your breather here, so you can't put it here. Well, they make a bracket. Um, they make a plate for that. All right. I have a picture snapped in there. But you have to take this bracket out. It's real simple. You need a half inch, rather wrench, a socket, uh, impact with a half inch. Um, you have to take these two bolts off here at the cow. You have to take two, these two bolts off at the fender. And you have to take, what is it? One, one, two, three, four. And I believe that is a 10 millimeter right there. You do not have to take these two off of here. There's that one right there, which I believe is a 10 millimeter. Those four, which is half inch, these two, and these two. So let me go ahead and take those off. And the good thing about this is uh, this bracket is that it fits right in there and you use um, the original bolts that you took out. So, alrighty, let me go ahead and take care of that real quick. I'm using a deep well for the ones in the back on an impact, so it is what it is. It's real simple. Basically about a five minute job. Take your old bracket, set it out the way. All right, now I'm going to get the four here. tight fit right there with my impact shoe. I just use a half inch ratchet.
actually it's two 10 millimeters. I believe they're 10 millimeters. Let me check and I'll show you. Yeah, they're both 10 millimeters like I thought. You have one right here on the bracket and one right here that mounts your coolant reservoir. So let me go ahead and get those two out. And it's simply a matter of just reinstalling. I mean installing a new one. Thought it might be notched, but it's not, so well there's another one here because I gotta move the reservoir, so can get it to it. Drop the screw, want to make sure I grab that. So now that this is out the way, the bracket just comes out of there. Then when you order these, make sure you get your um, your uh, tie down in the boat. That's all you do.
too much. One of the bow holes is just a little long. And I'm actually trying to shift it. is a little off, I know that. All right, just took a little bit of finessing. Just took a little bit of finesse and what I had to do is take the hammer and bend over the bottom bolt. The bottom bolt was not lining up with the hole. So as you can see, it's in there. And all I need to do is put all the bolts back on it. Now I'm going to have to set the camera down to set this back down. Alrighty. So as I was saying, I have to get... Two new batteries. That bow right there is just in an awkward position. Put over wheel. came all the way through. I'll put this one on in a minute. Um, it's kind of hard to get to. I'm going to have to get to it through that way. But these bolts are no longer needed because it holds the bracket here. And if you put that bracket back on there, you're not going to have room for your battery. And use side posts when you set it up. 
I have to get to go get the battery and I'm running a uh, zero gauge as my ground and zero gauge to the uh, alternator so with that being said let me tighten these down and the job is done house but Make sure I get my magnet in case I drop that screw again. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and use my swivel. Because the air conditioning stuff is in the way. to uh I may gotta take this out to get to the boat I dropped get that line back up but pretty much for the DIY video that's actually it and there you have your battery compartment for an additional battery get side post so that it doesn't hit your uh hood in short short it out all right.